We now head down to Gaoshu Township in rural Pingdong to visit a noodle shop that's been in business for over 60 years. The noodles here are cooked just like in the old days. Chef Wen Shihe gets up early each morning to chop firewood for the stove, but he wasn't always in the restaurant industry. He gave up an artistic career to save the family business from ruin. A big pot of water boils on the stove, and in go the thick, chewy noodles and vegetables. As they boil, you have to keep feeding the fire with wood. It's blazing red hot to keep the temperature high. At this eatery in Pingdong's Gaoshu Township, there's no fancy sign on the door. The scent of traditional wood fire cooking is all of the advertisement needed. This old place has so much character. Plus, they do hakka food, which we love. Simple good food is always a reminder of childhood. Noodle maestro Wen Shihe worked in the creative industries before turning to the kitchen. His great aunt was running the shop when the economy took a downturn. He couldn't bear to see its traditional cuisine bite the dust, so he volunteered to help support the business. My great aunt's shop couldn't keep going. Almost all the shops in the village had closed down, and I thought it was such a shame. I'd been doing culture and history surveys for ages, so I rang my great aunt and sold her the idea that I'd rent the shop and give it a try. After taking the shop on, Wen got an expert to help him recreate the original wood-burning stove with fire bricks. Every morning, he gets up early to chop wood and start boiling the noodles, but he hasn't lost the soul of an artist. The walls of the shop are covered in art, and the tables and chairs have an interesting tale to tell. The driftwood from Typhoon Morakot. These were made by the carpenter who made the building. For more than 60 years, noodles have been served up here in the classic style. The noodle shop has moved to a new location, but its nostalgic fare and antique ambience are unchanged.